Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back and this is likely the fastest way to set up and launch your first Vue.js app. First off, you're likely going to need Node.js, so if you don't have that, go ahead and download it at Node.js.org. Next up, go ahead and create a new directory and load that directory up with your favorite text editor. Since we're using Visual Studio Code, we can go ahead and go to View and Integrated Terminal to pull up our terminal. So here we're going to go ahead and type in npm install view CLI. And so we can use it in future projects as well. We're going to go ahead and add it to our global module list by typing slash G. Go ahead and hit enter and install all those. Next up, we're going to do view and knit. And for this tutorial series, we're going to be using Webpack. There's a few other options. You can read the documentation on those, but we're going to go ahead and do Webpack. And then the name of our project, uh, view app, capital letters, not recommended. It's going to go ahead and download uh, a few template things. The name of our project will be View App. Um, project description, you can go ahead and do whatever. Brinter Rally. Um, we want a runtime plus compiler. Uh, we'll go ahead and install the View Router. Um, ESLint is fine as well. That'll help us keep our code clean. Uh, we'll use the standard ESLint uh, setup. Um, we're not going to do any kind of unit test here. Um, and also none of that. Um, and then we can go ahead and uh, have it set automatically to run npm in install once it sets up our file. So go ahead and hit yes on that and let all those dependencies install. Finally, to run our app, all we have to do is change directory to our view app. Once that's done, we can do npm start and that should go ahead and start up our application. As you can see here, we got our application running on our local host 8080. So all we have to do is go ahead and navigate to that in our browser. And we should see uh, that we have our view app up and running. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We did it. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and check out all the files that uh, Vue CLI created for us and kind of do an anatomy breakdown of all these directories and what files were actually installed on our computer. But until next time, peace out.